Destination Church is a place where people who would not normally go to a church or who have been burnt by being at another church are able to come and be accepted and that's really exciting. I've been at Destination since we started in January and I got engaged in the worship team and I absolutely love it. I love being involved in music and it's a great passion of mine. God has been prepping us, um, changing our hearts and our attitudes um, towards um, how we view people. But but He's been calling us out to actually to get outside what we call the normal church, but to get out into the community. Beth came to me in October and uh, asked me to consider uh, coming. She was doing a church plant. And um, so I prayed about it, and I felt that I was released to do this. So um, I've came. I've um, right now. I'm helping out with the worship team. I play keyboards. One thing that Destination Church is doing is getting involved in the city, being part of the community and the city. So wherever we go, we're doing church. Church isn't confined to a building. I really believe in added value outreach and um, becoming salt and light in a community. So when we sit only inside our own buildings, we miss the opportunities of connecting to the world and being visible. One of our programs that we have started has been called uh, the Tulip Tuesday Award. And so each week, a a bouquet of tulips goes to a different business in St. Thomas. Uh, just saying that we're praying for them, um, that we're hoping for the best success for them as they contribute to the community. We hold a women's Bible study here on Monday nights and uh, we have about four or five other places, restaurants and uh, businesses in the city who are doing the same kind of thing for our youth groups and uh, our men's group meets in a business. All of those kinds of things are beginning to happen. One of our opportunities of being in uh, one of the businesses was we held our first alpha course in the back of a restaurant. And we ended up with 26 people on that course. Four that were from with the church that were our, um, our leadership and the rest were totally outside of the realm of church. Um, one of those girls uh, became a Christian and in the middle of that course, um, we had a baptismal service in our hot tub for her. And then um, one of the other girls that was part of that course has come to faith as well. And we saw five come to faith on that course. And it was exciting that even today, uh, we had the chance of baptizing both of their children. Sometimes people said that white people do square church, where they sit in rows and you see the back of someone's head and there's not much time to connect to them. And um, First Nations talked about doing circle church, where they sit in circles and actually connect to one another. And I thought about that a lot, and I thought about what it would look like uh, as we put this new church together. And so we tend not to sit in rows. We either have long tables or round tables. Um, people tend to communicate, and so rather than shaking people's hands and doing a very short piece, we tend to have a four or five minute time where there's a question asked where people can just talk to one another. We have coffee before the service so that people have a chance to interact. We don't do greeters at the door because we believe everyone um, should connect to everyone else. And by not putting a designation on that, we've had a lot of response of people just meeting one another and actually sitting at table together and, um, and sharing their stories. And food is biblical, so the fourth Sunday of every month, we brought out Crock-Pot Sunday. So we enjoy a meal together that just adds one more element uh, to people sharing their community. And St. Thomas is uh, a community where one in 10 go to church. Um, so we have a huge mission field in front of us, but there's 45 churches here, and so doing it the same way that's already happened isn't the answer.